Okay, so today we're doing my first unboxing and it is the new Note 8. Let's see what comes in this. I'm pretty excited because if everyone doesn't know, the Note 7 had problems with the battery, but God, the Note 5 was my favorite camera. So there's just this a little shield. When you open up, look how beautiful that is. Get that. <laughs> Let me see. Now you see me in a reflection. Okay. So let's pull this out. For now, we'll leave that right here. see what's inside. Usually the directions, instructions. Let's see, there's that. Oh. My nails are not good for long enough. Okay, some fancy stuff. Probably didn't need to pull that out. So anyways, let's see what this is. Usually instructions. Oh, here's for the little. This is really important because last time, well, I lost the other one. But you could always use a paper clip if you're trying to get the SD card in and out. But that is always good to remember to tape it or put it somewhere. So just instructions, meet your phone, consumer terms and conditions. So I'll probably read that one later and I'll leave this out. That was just the boxing. So, let's meet my phone. So here, oh, the charger for this is black. All the other ones have always been white. So that makes it stand out. Okay. Set that here. So we got a black charger, supercharger. Let's see if I can push this decoration back in. Nothing other than nostalgic and other reasons. So, oh, okay, everything's falling apart. <laughs> Maybe it's just me trying to reach over. This is another tool, I guess. This is maybe for the SD card. Just so I don't lose everything. Oops, look at that's already. I think these are little pinchers. This must. Oh, those are little pokers, maybe. Okay, we'll set that aside. So then, what is this thing for then? Eject pin. Okay, so that's the eject pin has a little nodule here. I don't feel like untaping that. I guess we'll see what those look like eject pins too, but maybe not. Maybe they're extras. They're nice this time around. Okay, let's see. So this is mm, the charging cord and this is the newest thing. The Note 8 are not using the micro SD supercharging cables. They are now using the C port. See that? Oops. There we go. Let me get this focused here. So, that goes with that. It's interesting. You know what though, on the other cords, they used to say like SS. And for some reason that doesn't say that. I mean, it says here, adaptive or fast charging, but on this cord, it doesn't say that. So I wonder if it's still fast charging. 
Because is it the cord or is it this unit or both? I think it's both. So anyways, let me just take this off. Ah, oh, my nails. This is, just got these done. Okay. There's that. There's this cord. Okay. Put that there. What else was in here? Oh, my nail. Oh, and that's nice of them. I don't think in any of my other Samsung phones or droids, they gave you headphones they just didn't. It was like an Apple thing. Now Apple has this wireless, so I'm not sure if they even give headphones out anymore. Okay, so little extra earbuds, depending on my ear size. I like to keep that there. This is just a little decoration I messed up. So I got that, I got that, I got these little pokers. that eject thing. Let's put these all here. This is my first unboxing so like I'm a little unorganized I guess but I know what I like or how I like things. We'll put this a little more in front. Okay. So let's check out these headbuds, earbuds. Okay they're brand AKG, never heard of that, but it's fine. All right, volume up down. I wonder if I'm assuming it's a microphone too, but who knows? I shouldn't assume anything. Um, the cord's plasticky here, but this part is um, like woven, braided, so that's a little more durable. That's cool. I'm that's I'm awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Okay, let's see what's in this little pocket. All right, so these are the fun things. Samsung being nice, let's see. This is a C port. I think this is, let's see, I won't guess, but I'm pretty sure this is their adapter. So, So anything for your old micro SD goes in there. Boom, C port and Nuke are still in business. And it has a nifty little scan code, I guess. If you need to scan that and get more information, you can. Should I hold that up? I don't think anyone would want to read that, but there you go. Okay. And the second one, let's see kind of adapter this is. All my trash. This is a USB to C port female adapter. So I guess, I don't know what. What would you be, the, I guess, you, some cool stuff. You can connect the USB. Who knows? All right. Well, that, that's that. The trick is not losing these and knowing where to find these things when you need it. My best thing is, my best trick is to either tape, when it's this kind of things, screws, anything, I either tape all the extra parts to the actual piece of whatever it is, or I keep all that, all of it. Back into the box, so at least I know, hey, where was that? Oh, it's in the box. So I'm going to put all these things back in except for the directions. Let's see. And we can check out the phone now. So I'm going to leave these out. Let's see what this, meet your phone. your phone okay this new one has all right so the note 5 did not have a card slot which was extremely annoying and disappointing 
hated that. But other than that on the Note 5, everything was my favorite. <laughs> Loved it. Bixie button, that's the new feature, I guess, Bixby. There's a talking thing I could talk to, kind of like Siri, but Samsung's version. I'm a suit. Edge screen. You know the things on the edge screen that I noticed? Because right now I have a Samsung S7. And you put the screen protector on it, which is fine. But on the edges, because it's curved, it cracks, which is annoying. Um, so that's where the headset jack is. S pin, okay. Iris scanner, power lock, edge screen, obviously. Dual camera, flash, fingerprint scanner, USB charger port. So I guess you could charge it. I wonder if that USB, I guess anything. Setting up your phone. Okay. Does it come charged? So your phone already has a SIM card installed. Insert the micro SD optional. Okay, charge the phone. Okay, I should charge that then. Tells you how. Okay, great. So, oh, and see that little nifty key. There you go. And the SIM card is at the bottom of that, so we'll check that out. Because I believe in my Galaxy S7, the S card is at the top. Using your phone. Edge screen always delivers access on text, email, blah, blah, blah. So right on the side, okay. Once we get it charged, hello Bixby. To launch Bixby, press the Bixby button. There's an S pin, ooh, the best part. Oh my God, I love it. Using your pin. Oh, create live messages, awesome, Bixby Vision. These are all the, sorry, not reading that in focus. Oh, I'm so excited, okay. Oh, this is for my old device, okay, great. I was like, do I have to go to the Verizon store to transfer my contacts, but to like make sure, you know, because I feel like every time I transfer to a new phone, I lose some contacts. And that is like devastating because you don't want to like, then I'm holding on to the phone forever and then I forget the password. <sighs> I have about four phones that I don't know the password to and I need to step off of it. <laughs> okay, so that is meet your phone. And this is the thing. Ooh. This is the edge. I guess I could where they're talking about reading a message or a text but you know when you have a case on it because you have to have a case because a phone is almost like a thousand dollars am i going to be able to still you know get that and it's so thin but you always have to have a case on it so it's really not that thin it is a little heavier than the old note 5. i will do a comparison later okay so this is the big speed button it doesn't have any power. This is the C port, okay. See that little dot is where I have to push, I think. Wait, let's see, let me not lie. Lied, okay. Take retraction. Let's see if I can get, get this in focus. Maybe it's too close. Okay, you see that little dot? That's where the SD card goes. So that is the same as my Galaxy S7. For some reason, it's like, what does that say? Old dual. Dual Com 4G. Oh, there, there's a great angle. So you're going to pop that little ejection pin in there to get the SD card slot to open up. You pop your new one in. I believe what I read was that this can hold up to 215 gigabytes on the SD card. I am yet to find one of those. I did find a 128 gigabyte micro SD card at Costco, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna charge this baby up. The screen is pretty big. Um, and just for reference, our 
right, so just for reference, this, I have my Note 7. It's in a case. And of course, I don't even know how to open this case because it's been a little hot minute. But anyways, so this is the Note 5. Best phone I've had in a long time. Okay, has a case on it, obviously. So let's just compare screens. This is the Note 8. And if we line it up, it's a little bit bigger. With the case, you know, obviously, but still, this is a little bit bigger. Um, it is, oh, there's the gray. In me. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this and it was informative. This is the new Samsung Galaxy Note 8 unboxing. And just for a preview, Samsung also sent me their new Samsung 360 gear. So that will be my next unboxing. Stay tuned. And I'll do a comparison. You know what I forgot to do was the most exciting part about this phone is, oh, why didn't I pop this pin? There you go. So you just, here's this pin. Oh, love it. This gives you so much control for like editing photos, writing, like it is amazing. All right then, hope you enjoyed. Thanks guys. Figure out how to get that case off of my reflections.